So a fashion photographer from Istanbul reached out to me and needed help with Character Creator 3 and I was more than happy to help out. So Corday Briand creates these videos about uh, fashion photography. Go check it out because I've been watching a few of them. No idea what he's saying because it's all in Turkish. But it's pretty, it's pretty suave. So he created a shirt, marvelous designer. However, we're having issues with weight painting when we bring it in. So if we jump over into Blender, I'm pretty sure I got the file still saved in there. It looks fine. So the shirt is sitting how it needs to. However, the first problem is, is that this pose is actually different to the one in Blender. So if we have a look here, straight arms, hands on top, over here, bent arms. Okay, so we can already see there's a bit of an issue. So let's go ahead and first bring in our shirt, create accessories, because we're importing an accessory and we're gonna make a shirt. So this is the original shirt. And if we have a look from the front, we can see that it's off. So what we need to do first is to reset to the default pose. So I'm just gonna select the character itself. Let's come up into pose mode up in the top right hand corner and let's go into edit pose. I'm going to select default. There we go. So let's now grab his arm. I'm gonna come up here into the rotational tool and as well, I'm gonna turn on mirror. So obviously if I move it on the right hand side or the character's left, it's gonna go on the other side as well. So I'm gonna bring it down just so it kind of sits on there. So it's pretty much exactly what it looks like in Blender. If we have a look, we can see that the top of the shirt is sitting right there. Now we will talk about a little bit of an issue about something else, but for now, let's just go through. So make sure you stick around to that. So from here, what I'm gonna do is select our shirt. Let's come into the settings here and we wanna transfer the weight from the skin or from the rig, however, onto the, or however you wanna say it, onto the actual uh, shirt. So now if I go transfer skin weights, bam. Oh, no, sorry, let's press apply because it is just a default shirt. And then we can close that. Now, if I select the character, come up into pose mode and let's select this bone and we will rotate that up. You can see that we've got this weird stretching issue here. Hmm. So this is the main problem that we were having with uh, this shirt. So what I do now is I'm gonna go out of pose mode. I'm gonna double click on the shirt. Let's click on the settings button there. And we wanna to go to skin weights. From here, I'm going to select the paint operation and the smooth one, um, because we're just going to smooth the mesh. So the next thing we need to do is we need to find which bone we need to smooth. Now, Character Creator 3 is really good at this because in Blender, if you were to subtract, it doesn't add to every other um, vertex group. Where here, if I subtract from the clavicle, it'll add to the upper arm, for instance. So that's a really cool feature that I didn't know existed until I started playing with this. Okay, so what we need to do is let's go get rid of our thighs because I don't care about our thighs. Waist, spine, spine, the neck. I don't care about the neck and the clavicle. We're gonna look on the left-hand side. So here we can see that we have this here. Um, I'm going to actually go up to the upper arm. Now with this rig, after playing with it, the upper arm is this whole arm. However, nothing is weight painted to that arm. It actually goes to the the twists. Where are my twists? Forearm twist. Here we go. Upper arm twist. So we can see that there's actually two bones in here. So we'll have the full bone. So this is the upper arm. And then we've got upper arm twist one and then twist to that small section. And so that's what we're gonna be working on. With the smooth tool, let's kind of just start smoothing this mesh out. I'm just gonna start trying to relax it a little bit. And I am just gonna be flicking in between all the meshes. There we go. Now let's go back into, not the upper arm, let's go into the left clavicle and we'll relax that a bit, just smoothing it out. And then this is all I did kind of just messing around with it. And you can see now already that the vertices are starting to kind of like uh, line up a little bit. There we go, look at that. Yeah, 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 ding dong. And then we come into here and then just gonna continue, just kind of expand my selections here. There we go, come on. And then just gonna kind of just flick around. Come on, mate, come on, mate. 
Come on. Uh, maybe the upper arm twist. There we go. All right, let's start relaxing this more and more. And you can see this is all we did. And you can see now that we're starting to get some nice lines through here, where before it was all just one chunk. At the end of the video, I'll show a comparison of what it was at the start to where it is now. Come on, there we go. All right, beautiful, come on. Just adding to that geometry, not to geometry, just smoothing out all that vertexes. Um, and you can see that this area is starting to close down, which is exactly what we want. And so I'm just kind of going backwards and forths. I don't think we really need to be touching too much on the clavicle anymore. I think it's just all in this section here. Come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. And this is how we got to where we needed to be. Just quite a bit of playing around. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on, mate. I'll fast forward this a bit. So let's just now go ahead and have a look what our thing looks like. And that is a lot better. Uh, now we're probably not going to have the arms that high, maybe. Oh, we might, who knows. But this is now we come into the problem of the shirt. Um, so if we kind of have a look, this is where we were. And you can see that really harsh kind of stretching to where we are now. And we've kind of merged that right down quite a bit. Now the big issue as well here. Oh, actually, sorry. Let's do another tip. Let's select our shirt. Let's come into skin weights. And what I'm going to actually do is transfer all that painting that I did on the left hand side to the right hand side. So uh, under mirror weights, we can go left to right. There we go. So now it's exactly the same per bone, per bone. Sorry, I should have said that. So now I'm going to come all the way back down to uh, where's my left spines, necks. Let's get rid of the necks clavicle let's go from left to right beautiful and then we come up into the upper arm twist left to right and then the other one there we go so now you can see that we've cleaned up that problem i think with a little bit of work we could probably get it even more cleaner um, but those are those two things now this is the problem that we have with this specific shirt is that this shirt was created with his arm extended like this. So this sleeve here is actually dropping. So technically this shirt isn't going to work for when we jump into a sitting position because the shirt is actually falling into, if we kind of have a look, the shirt kind of rotates into the person. So this is why there's a lot of characters that will have their shirt very close to the arm because then when we do bring it down there's no um kind of like clipping of the actual body so that's just a little bit of a tip that if you're designing clothes but with arms extended we've gotten a lot better a much better result here um so yeah if you found this handy let me know in the comments below make sure you go check out mr um Corey. I'm on his website at the moment. That is a schmick website. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I digress. And yeah, Frank approves.